okay? There was this announcement or this like this like story that broke on Twitter a couple weeks ago, right? A few weeks ago, that this crypto whale had been outed for spending, I think it was sixty three thousand dollars, like sixty two, yeah, sixty two thousand dollars in a month on Ruby's OF. Obviously, a story like that breaks. Everybody's talking about a commentary, Twitter, podcast communities, so on and so forth. There is a picture of you guys together. I ran into him at my hotel at the Mondrian on Sunset. What and what was that like? Um, it was like now, like that. I think about it. I'm like, was it a run in? No, no, no. Or was it maybe he like knew I was there, but I don't know. People like were saying like I should be scared of him, but he's actually like a really nice, friendly guy and he spent more. So he's like, oh, okay. Well, so it gets deeper, Logan. I don't even know if you know this or not. Now, now there's so there's a, a bunch of ways we could talk about this people spending that amount of money on girls on OF on, on videos, whatever. This dude's gone on shows recently and said, he, he said the following. On one of the shows, I didn't purchase none of her OnlyFans content. I got the situation where I just went and took a picture of Ruby, right? I got paid for it. I didn't know exactly what it was for. I think it was like a promo thing. Her team hit me up, whatever the fuck it was. I met up with her. I take the picture the next day. I'm like the OnlyFans top spender. I know there was some kind of thing where it had to do with OnlyFans top spender shit, but I don't know what the fuck was going on. It was made up to look like I was her top spender. Okay. So this is my response. Like this oh, is as of today. Like, so this is in the past two months. So, and he has a tattoo of me on his, on his, oh my God, so. $105,000. Crypto yeah. whale looking for a queen. Are you going to be his queen? We're going to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep us friends. Wait, so, so wait, so I don't get this because this dude goes on these shows to try to, to, I don't know if maybe this part of it was for content. I don't know. I've seen like a few, a few interviews and some of it, like he like tries to like deny it and then some he like admits to it. So it's like, I don't know. He's how just... do you, how do you deny it? Brother, you have a tattoo of her on your leg. You're denying being the number one spender and your Instagram is one of one spender. <laughs> the shirt. How is that it possible, just... bro? The texts are the most shocking part to me. That's why I'm actually surprised you let him in your vicinity. It feels, I mean, we just had Chris Hansen on our show, but it feels like a little like predatory. It's weird. He's well, like, he it's, he's like having a hotel. fantasy with himself in mm, your threat. I don't know. Like, honestly, like not to toot my horn. Toot that shit. But like, you know, guys, guys like me oh, a yeah, lot. They do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and like, you know, I give, I post and like, I, I, you know, you know, I, it's, per no, it's purposeful. Business. Yeah. That's your business. You definitely know what the fuck you're doing. Like, you know, viral content, social content. There's actually a tweet here from someone that says, your parents are super educated. You went to boarding school in Switzerland and speaks, you speak four languages? Like three. This a, ghetto hood rat cosplay shit is just a costume for her. Is that true? That's what this, I'm just reading a tweet. Like, I mean, those things about me in the beginning are true. And like, but like, is it ghetto cosplay? Like, I just be like, you know, everybody has a little persona, internet urban persona so i think that's just well yeah. how much of it's true like do you really want someone to go pop their gun then come home and pop that cherry absolutely <laughs> absolutely okay, i'm glad that... you know that song you know my Yo, song I, you know I know this shit, ruby. dude me and ruby have, we've known each other for a long time we've hung out before, that's shocking for sure.